In their zeal to match the sweeping rhetoric of right-wing populism, Democrats are spinning out dramatic proposals indeed, but in which facts are sometimes misrepresented, the numbers occasionally don't add up, and emotional appeal tends to trump actual policy analysis. When Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was confronted recently by Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes about an egregious misstatement about Pentagon spending, she responded, I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, and semantically correct than about being morally right. Or consider the tax proposals being tossed around on the left, including a wealth tax championed by Elizabeth Warren. I understand the appeal of tapping into those vast accumulations of billionaire loot. But there is a reason that nine of the 12 European countries that instituted similar taxes have repealed them in the last 25 years. They massively distort economic activity, often incentivizing people to hide assets, devalue them, and create dummy corporations. AOC's comments on 60 Minutes reminded me of a July 2016 exchange between Newt Gingrich and CNN's Alison Camerata. Violent crime across the country is down. This is uh, the FBI statistics. They're not a liberal organization. No, They're a but crime what I said is equally true. People feel, feel it. more threatened. Yes, they feel it, but the facts don't support Fine. it. As a, as a political ca candidate, I'll go with how people feel, and I'll let you go with the theoreticians. We already have one major political party that now routinely twists facts, disregards evidence, ignores serious policy analysis, and just makes stuff up to appeal to people's emotions and prejudices. If the Democrats now start moving along this path as well, American politics will truly descend into a new dark age.